What is this? Recognize it. I made it. Crafted for an old ally. A bounty hunter named Subo. <sighs> Barely a scratch on it. I don't think Subo knows about my recent uh, injury. Would you consider assisting him in my place? The fans must mean Hawazar. Start there. Take the helm so he knows I sent you. As I said, he's an old ally. You might find him to be... well, a bit of an acquired taste. I know what you know, so I don't really know. Subo's not much of a joiner. Perhaps someday with the right encouragement... Honor to help, friend.
I'm low on vigor. My aim is considerably better when you don't hinder it. If Ray here did not come through himself, then he has good reason. You're the helm. That is good enough for me. Yes, I know of you. And since that bandit who got past you will be back with many of his angry friends, I hope some of what they say of you is actually true. I need you to buy me the time to do what's necessary. I captured one of the bandits and stashed him below. This way. Here's information we need. I can convince him to give it up. They will be coming to free him soon. Or to slit his throat to keep him from talking. Keep them occupied while I have a chat with him. Need more time. I know you, Sufo. My fate is the same, whether I talk or not. All they tell me is to keep them unspoiled. I don't know what they do with them after that. Stop! Stop! Please, I know they're doing something at the windswept altar, but I swear to you, I don't know what it is. See, he felt like talking after all. Hopefully, there is still time. Meet me at the windswept altar. Don't keep me waiting. Go in the front, get the big one's attention. Keep him distracted. You'll know what to do when the time comes. And don't kill anyone.
I don't have enough vigor. In service of the living swamp, we offer up this innocent blood so that the swamp might serve us in our time of... Well, it seems we have a visitor. Your bandits? Your cultists. And you're already dead. Whoever you are, you're outnumbered. Leave and live. Blood will be spilled. Please get me out of this place. <sighs> when were you going to tell me this was a rescue mission? I assumed you were paying attention. And everything worked out fine, didn't it? Let's get this one home and collect our bounty. Everything worked out fine. Check on the prisoner. Worked out well enough. Maybe Ray here and these mercenaries can be useful from time to time. I'll meet you back at their lair. And by the way, keep the helmet. I never needed it in the first place.
Need more time. My savior. I can't We'd use that. Without you. Wouldn't have made it without you. For days, the scent has lingered. At first, it troubled me. Rotting flesh, the smell and the sound of corpse flies ever present. But there is a sweetness to it. And alongside the buzzing of flies, I hear the croon of an older thing. A god. Light above. The stench. How long have I worshipped this corpse? I am out of vigor. You've trespassed into the temple of the Great Worm! I can smell your flesh! Tear our guest apart! I save you. Bless you. I'm low on vigor. Not ready yet. Your evil is done.
low on big. I need to keep looking. Too late to run. <laughs> I am out of vigor. Show the intruder the might of the steps. I'm low on vigor. I yield, Wanderer. I yield. Stay your hand. I swear to you by the bloated worm and by the ways of my people, my life is yours to take. But first, allow me to exact my revenge upon those who have wronged me. Call me Variana. Call me mercenary. Call me butcher. My quest is to deliver my vengeance upon the cannibal chieftains who chased me from my clan. I will not die until my enemies are dead by my hand. I will not. So much flesh. So much temptation. I need... I need to be gone from this place. I've been down there so long, I could barely tell friend from foe. Glad I didn't kill you. You bested me. By the law of my people and the law of the worm, I am yours to butcher and devour. But before that happens, I must put two cannibal chieftains under my knife. Grelkar the Craven and Zolmog Venomblood must die. Why? Because they banished me. Because they wounded my honor. Because I don't like them. I need help to destroy them, Wanderer. We are agreed. Then first we seek Grelkar, sure to be in his feasting hall. Cannibals loyal to Grelkar roam the untamed scraps. At least a few must know where his hall is. You dare return to the land you betrayed, Mariana? I am out of vigor. The severed hand. You see the map tattoo. What is this?
better. Here, this has to be the entrance to Grelkar's feasting hall. We'll gut them like. Grelkar can be made to reveal where Zolmog is. Zolmog, but as Zolmog is, tell me. Yeah. What is it you're doing? My people have a ritual. It can tell me what I must know, but it just be quiet. <laughs> <sighs> Yourself. Don't look at me. I was a cannibal. Like these we've just slaughtered. But when I fled my clan, I finally saw the depravity of our ways. I swore to set aside those habits. And I have. I have. But the hunger doesn't leave you ever. It's been an age since I saw Grelkar. There was a time when we were both trusted advisors to Tyrant King Brawl, along with Zolmog and Molkarth. But then, the Pale Man, Elias, freed us from Guron's prison and drove my people to even darker atrocities. When he bent Brawl to his will, I dared speak the truth, that we were becoming pawns of Elias. But Grelkar and the others turned against me. I fled for my life, put my skills to use as a butcher and a mercenary, and swore off human flesh. Guron streets will be thick with Zolmog sycophants, all on the lookout for threats to his coronation. But if we get our hands on a boat, we can enter the city by the docks, 
Far fewer eyes than the main gates. The worm provides. The rowboat will do. We'll make surprise our ally. Prepare for battle, friend. Come out of your holes, old man! I don't have enough vigor. Hold. You hear them. You hear them celebrating. That filthy wretch is showing off his power already. But a feast is to our advantage. We can lose ourselves in the crowd, get close to Zolmog, slit the bastard's throat before he even knows we're there. Returning to the land you sought to betray. I let you live then because you didn't matter. You still don't, but I won't be so gracious now. I came back for your head, Zolmark. I should have taken it years ago. I won't be leaving without it. Pay proper respect to your tyrant king, dear Variana. Perhaps I'll allow you to survive. You're not my king, Zolmog. Never my king. And I'll never be one of you again. Oh, you never lose the taste, woman. I suspect you know that all too well. Just as you know the law of our people. Eat or be eaten! Need more time. 
I am out of vigor. It's done. My word is my bond. And my life. As we ended Zolmog's. I told you, my life is yours to take. As you wish. But my offer stands. Nobody would miss me anyway. Well, maybe Ray here. No reason to linger. I'm headed south, returning to a gathering place for mercenaries in Nahantu. You need a butcher or a blade? Seek me there. Or if you change your mind about eating me. <laughs> Can't carry any more. You do your cooking outside. Ugh, the monster smell turns my stomach. I expected a stronger stomach from an iron woman. Well, you certainly have the look of someone who spends a lot of time in the wilds. I expect you'll also want some of my elixirs, but let's focus on your healing potion for now. I 
have some extra materials we can use this time. If you want to improve your healing potion further, or craft any elixirs, you'll need to source your own ingredients. I'll not leave these walls. Never again. I'll be here soon. <laughs> 